Here we have a very nice looking 2007 BMW X3 3 litre diesel SE model in blue. The car is in absolutely great condition as you'll see in the video. But if we start with the offside front tyre, tread wise in the front, good amount of tread there. You're looking at around 4 to 5 mil of tread, so that's great. Taking a look at the offside front alloy, no signs of any curbing whatsoever, no signs of any marks either. The alloy is absolutely spotless. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, uh, a bit bright but taking a good look. Can't see any signs of any dinks, any dents and especially no signs of any damage at all. Mirror caps spotless, no signs of any marks of that. Taking a look at the driver's door here, no signs of any scratches whatsoever. Like I said, very nice condition. Even the plastic underneath the door there is in nice condition as well. Door edge is spotless with no signs of any car part chips. And then taking a look at the rear passenger door. Again, no signs of any scratches at all to the passenger door. And the door edge is spotless as well, with no signs of any chips. Door sills are in nice condition as well, with no signs of any marks of those. And taking a quick look at the roof. You can see you've got your roof bars there. And no signs of any dents or any damage to the roof at all. Moving to the wards of the offside rear quarter. Again, great condition with no signs of any marks there. So overall, like I said, a very clean car. Also your privacy glass there on the back as well. Taking the offside rear tyre, you're looking at around 4 to 5 mil of tread. And again, no signs of any curbing whatsoever to the offside rear alloy or any marks at all. As you can see, the video probably doesn't do it justice. The alloys are absolutely spotless. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. Take a look at the rear of the car here. Again, no signs of any dinks or any dents at all. Very clean, rear parking sensors there. No signs of any scratches whatsoever along the boot lid here. So you can see that's absolutely spotless as well. No marks whatsoever to the back. Looking in the boot. Great condition in the boot, you can see all your floor mats there as well. If we just lift this up here, you can see you have got your tow bar in there as well, which is great. So it does come with the tow bar. But nice condition in the boot. Moving towards the near side of the vehicle. See, it's a very nice looking car. Taking this offside rear tyre, again, you got around 5mm of tread there. Offside rear alloy, again absolutely spotless with no signs of any curbing at all there, so that's great. And then taking it down the near side of the vehicle, you have got two very small dinks on the front passenger door which I'll show you later on. Apart from that I can't see any other signs of any other dinks, any dents, and again no signs of any damage. Door edge on the rear passenger door spotless with no signs of any chips. A couple of very light little marks of the paint there. One or two little very light scratches that will polish out anyway. As you can see, door edge on the front passenger door spotless. I'll just show you this dink. So you've got one right next to the door edge there. Very small and light. And then an even, sm even smaller one towards the middle of the passenger door as well. But apart from that, again, spotless. A couple of light little scratches to the mirror caps. Moving towards the offside, uh, near side front, again you're looking at around 5mm of tread, and again same story, alloy, spotless, no marks, no kerbs. So as you can tell from the video so far, the car's in great condition. Moving towards the front, you've got your front parking sensors there, plastics look in nice condition. You've got a couple of scratches to the paintwork on the bonnet, again they should polish out, they're very light. No signs of any stone chips at all, just a couple of scratches to the bonnet. One or two little stone chips to the front bumper, and a couple of little scratches here and there. Overall though, no signs of any damage, and in great condition overall. So that's the bodywork guys, if we take a look inside now. Do get a full black leather interior. As you can see, great condition with the leather. Still looks brand new, and still smells brand new in here as well. As you can see, the leather is absolutely spotless. No signs of any wearing at all either. The car's clearly been taken care of and it's time. 
when you look at the car you do forget it's an 07 plate with the condition of the vehicle, even the doors are spotless. Let's take a look inside the front of the vehicle. Looking in the front seat here again, holsters are spotless with no signs of any wearing or any damage there. Overall, very impressive. And the same with the front passenger seat as well. Taking a look at the uh, rest of the interior, you see it's a nice aluminium finish. The dashes are very clean. Everything's spotless. Steering wheel's in really nice condition as well. And the same with the rest of the interior. So you are getting almost a brand new car here, guys. Very little work needed doing to it. You do get two sets of keys with the vehicle as well, which is nice. If we just get the car started up. So you can see that 3 litre diesel engine starts perfectly fine, no problems at all with that at all. 48,678 miles on the clock guys, very low mileage for its age, and no symbols at all popping on the dash there that need to be aware of at all. Multifunction steering wheel, like I said, great condition. As you can see your screen pops up there as well. Sorry about the glare on the video guys, it is very bright. No problems at all with the sound, that sounds great. But looking at the system here, you can see you've got air conditioning, no problems at all with the sound for that. Air, uh, for the sound, sorry, no problems at all with the function for that. Everything works great, all the blows are functioning fine, and the same with the buttons. Car comes with heated seats, you can see they function perfectly fine. So no problems at all with that. But as you can see as well, overall it's just a very nice condition. Um, also comes with uh, navigation. We're just trying to show that on the video. Again, very bright so I do apologise. It's quite hard to show this. Um, but as you can see, showing up on the screen there, perfectly fine. It seems to work perfectly fine as well. So it does come with the nav which is nice. Automatic transmission. Let's take a quick look at the documents now guys, the car's had three owners, so three owners on the car there, MOT August 4th 2014, so plenty left there, and you do get full partially franchised service history with two stamps, first one at 19, that was done at BMW Sydney Nottingham, so that's 19, and then 37,000 miles, so plenty of service history there. There we go guys, that is the 2007 BMW X3 3.0-litre diesel. For a car of this age, it's absolutely immaculate. Very little work needed doing to it, and it could go straight onto your pitch.